now that we have all the notes in our score, it's time to add some of the other details that make music music. Dynamics, articulation, expression marks, all of these make the music more interesting. So let's put them in here before we start orchestrating this. We'll start with the articulations. We have staccato over here and slurs over here. A tenuto and staccato and slurs. All of this, all in the first line. I'll start with the articulations here. So the staccatos, as you can see, they're on the number pad. On my computer, that corresponds to the star on the number pad. And there it is. By pressing left and right on the keyboard, I'm moving between the notes that are selected. I could do the same by clicking on each note. To show you this in a different way, I'll find that same passage again later, over here, bar 5, 6, 7, 8. At the end of bar 8, going into bar 9, I'm going to click on the first note, press shift, and click on the last note that I want selected. That selects all of those notes. Now I can make them staccato all together. A similar thing can happen with the slurs. I want that slur to start on the E, so I'll press S for slur. To make it longer, I now press spacebar, which will make it longer one note at a time. If I go too, pl if I go too far, I simply press shift and backspace to take it back one. I can do the same thing here at bar 5 by selecting. I'll click on the first note and just to show you a different way I'll press shift and the right arrow on the keyboard. Select notes as we go. And then S for slow will write a slur over all of those notes that I've selected. Here we have a slur and also here. Don't forget, even though it's only shown once in the piano, it applies to both of those. These notes, which we can also select together, have a staccato and a tenuto. Dynamics are a little different. We need a forte at the beginning. In Sibelius, this is called a text. So we'll go to the text tab and under the styles section. As you can see there are a lot of options. We want to choose the expression. So click it and choose where you want it. If you right click in an empty space now it will give you a whole lot of options that you can choose from and will also show what their shortcuts are. To do that a different way, which is often quicker, I'll select the note that I want that to apply on, press Ctrl and E for expression, and now Ctrl and F puts in the forte. Remember again that in a piano score you'll only have one dynamic, most likely for both hands. So we need to write that, dyna that dynamic for these parts as well. Control E, Control F. Control E, Control F. In the second bar, we now have a hairpin. Sibelius again makes this very easy with shortcuts. We select the range that we want the hairpin to go over. So I'll click on the first note, Shift, and click on the last note. And press H for hairpin. In the same way, I'll select these notes here, 
and use Shift and H for a decrescendo hairpin. At this point it's up to our own interpretation whether this should apply in the bass line as well. I suspect not. So I'll leave it as it is. There is one more marking in this first line. The risoluto. The senza pedal is only for pianists. So the risoluto needs to come in here. Again, I'll click on the first note. A style. And expression and then type risoluto and then escape notice here that Sibelius has automatically put the risoluto next to the forte so that they don't clash and again I will need to put that on all of the others as well control E for expression risoluto And again. Later on, we will start using some of the other styles in this text, such as techniques. These include pizzicato, places to play in the bow adding mutes, etc. This is also where we can change the tempo, including the metronome mark, any things to do with the tempo and the meter, repeats like Tsukoda, and any of the other text that we may find.